In this video I'm going to talk about theft from a store or shoplifting and some of the confusion that's come about in the comments. I've seen lots of discussions about what shoplifting might be and when it becomes theft and that very moment that it becomes theft. Is it when someone takes an item off a shelf? Is it when they've put it in the trolley? Or is it when they've walked out of the door? That's what I'm talking about to clear up the confusion in this video. So welcome back. I'm the Black Belt Barrister, helping you to understand law. So make sure you subscribe for future videos. So let's start by briefly breaking down what theft actually is. And this is broken down by what's known as the elements of the offence. And they are as follows. It is the dishonest appropriation of property belonging to another with the intention to permanently deprive that person of it. And this might also be where you treat those goods as though they belong to you. As you might remember from another video, if you eat something as you're going around the store, you've treated it as your own, you've deprived the actual owner of any rights to do with that product as they wish, and therefore that might amount to theft as well. But sticking with the shoplifting analogy, dishonest appropriation. Now appropriation might be anything so simple as if this is my mouse here, if I pick this mouse up and I put it in my pocket, then I've appropriated that mouse. So it's appropriation. So technically speaking, everybody appropriates something when they take it off the shelf and they put it into their trolley, or these days into the bags, or bag for life and things like that. You're appropriating that property in some sense or another. The key question here is whether it is an honest or dishonest appropriation, because this is actually the very first point at which you might be able to define this incident as theft. If I am picking an item up off the shelf and I put it in my bag and let's say I've scanned it and I intend to buy it and pay for it, then that's a perfectly normal appropriation of a product as you're going around the shop. Similarly, if you're going through the checkout at the end and you just put it in the trolley and you're going to bag it up at the end with the full intention of paying for it, that's a normal appropriation of property in that situation as well. However, the situation is different depending on the intent of the person. If the person taking the item off the shelf, putting it into their pocket, has the intention to steal it from that very moment, then it becomes a dishonest appropriation of property belonging to the store, and if they intend to permanently deprive the store of it, it is theft from that very moment, because all of the elements of the offence have been made out. Now, it is a common situation that shops will not detain somebody at that moment because it's going to be more difficult to show that they had the intention to permanently deprive the shop of it. It is more normal that the shop will detain somebody once they've passed the stage of the checkout. That's because, obviously, they've passed any opportunity to pay for the goods, they don't look like they're going to pay for the goods, and therefore it's much more likely that a prosecution would be successful, because the magistrates, if it's low-value shoplifting, or if the defendant elected Crown Court, the jury, would be able to decide that this person has stolen the goods and had no intention of paying for them in the first place. So in summary, you can have committed the offence of theft even at the point of appropriating the product from the shelf. As I said, it's less common for you to be detained in that situation. However, if it were very obvious, the store might decide to detain you at that moment and call the police. The situation then arises, however, once you've passed the checkouts and maybe the scanners have gone off because you've got an electronically tagged item and the shop is asking to search your bag or they're asking to see your receipt. Now, just to be clear, the shop has no power to search you, unlike a police officer. However, it would be a sensible idea to allow the shop to look through the bags, or more simply, to check your receipt. Because without which, if the security scanners have gone off, they've beeped as you've gone through the barriers, then it would give the shop a reasonable suspicion that you have committed theft from the store. This would then allow them to make the decision to make a citizen's arrest, although it's not really referred to as a citizen's arrest anymore. It is simply referred in section 24A of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, arrest without warrant, 
for other persons. So section one states, a person other than a constable may arrest without a warrant anyone who is in the act of committing an indictable offence, which includes theft, or anyone whom he has reasonable grounds for suspecting to be committing an indictable offence. And subsection two confirms the situation where the offence has been committed. So where it is clear that this offence has been committed, a person other than a constable may arrest without a warrant as well. But the real key here in section 24a is subsection 1b, which is anyone whom he has reasonable grounds for suspecting to be committing an indictable offence. So taking this situation in the shop, if there is someone who they have reasonable grounds to be committing this offence of theft, i.e. stuffing products into a bag that it appears they have no intention of paying for, or more commonly, once they've left the store or even just past the barriers, and particularly if the barriers have gone off, sounded the alarm and there's electronically tagged items suspected of being on their person, the store may then effect an arrest under this section. The question then arises, as it was in a video that someone sent to me from a well-known auditor on YouTube, can the person exert any force on this person if they suspect them of committing? And the answer is yes, because the Criminal Law Act of 1967 allows a person to use reasonable force to detain shoplifters where it's not practicable for a police officer to do so. Usually that would be to prevent the person from escaping whilst they call the police. This is a very common situation and this is what security officers will very often do. They will detain the person with reasonable force that they believe to have been committing shoplifting in their store. Even if they are wrong, that's not necessarily going to give rise to a complaint for civil damages and assault against the security officer. Because if they have reasonable grounds to suspect that this theft has taken place, particularly if the security alarms have gone off, then they made a lawful arrest without a warrant because they had reasonable grounds to believe that this theft had taken place. So for those that have argued in the comments that it's not theft until you've left the store, that simply isn't true, at least not for England and Wales. So I hope that clears up some of the confusion. Please share it with someone that might disagree with you. Remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.